boom, boom, this is Kendra, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. All right, so we got a little Azurlane on tap. So uh, the iron stained uh, steel secure event is over. It ended. Um, so they've got a new event up today. Uh, starting out a couple of uh, different uh, items here. Let's take a look at what we've got on the event tab here. So the event is called the Nocturne Before Nightfall. Now this is phase one of the event. Uh, and in this phase one, Jamaica, Admiral Graf Spree, Admiral Graf Spee, I'm sorry, Vampire and Belfast will all gain bonus XP. Uh, it's 20% um, when you use them in sortie. So that means if you use them in battle, uh, and a fleet, you know, you'll get you get an extra 20% experience uh, from those ships. Um, I have Vampire Belfast. Um, Belfast is, uh, I've got her up to like almost 110, so, but, and I've got Vampire. I do not have uh, Graf Speed or Jamaica, as a matter of fact, so um, a little uh, disconcerting there, okay? So I won't be able to use those two. Now, this runs until the 5th, uh, so this is going to run for another six days, um, and then uh, we'll be switching over to phase two which is where the actual event will be, um, which is where you'll get uh, the Royal Crown portrait frame, which is a chat frame, um, when you complete the event missions. Um, so I assume Nocturne Before Nightfall, the event will be up, uh, and that comes up on the 6th, um, which is next week, and then um, that'll run until the 26th, so there'll be 20 days for that. So uh, if you want to use those ships in the event, you of course can. So, um, but it's a chance to, you know, if you have either of these four ships, any of them, this is a good chance to level them up um, uh, so that, you know, you know, 20% experience is, is a pretty good boost that allows you to enable them pretty fast. So if you want to do that, that's, uh, that would be advisable. And uh, that's what I got the PR catch up. This is, uh, again, sorting the priority um, the priority ship uh, events that they mentioned in, uh, a while back, about two weeks ago. But they're going to start speeding up the acquisition of blueprints for ships and whatnot. Um, and they were going to start having events where you could um, obtain uh, blueprints at a faster rate. Um, and this is part of that. Uh, they've got Neptune up right now. So it's a blueprint completion plan. It's going to run until the 26th. Um, the object is to, you know, you get 30. Now what you're, what, what you're doing is as you're completing a research uh, mission, I don't have one to... to uh, to complete at the moment uh, it's still it's still being ran but so this one's running right here for another hour now but when this is this completes I'm going to get a blueprint for one of these ships random I'm also going to get a blueprint for um, whichever ship you have in your priority catch-up and you're also going to get a Neptune blueprint uh, I've completed uh, the, uh, three of these so far, and I've gotten I've gotten a Neptune blueprint on each of them as I was completed. Okay, so that's what the event means. So as you complete research projects, um, you will get uh, blueprints for Neptune. Okay, and once you complete it, you get some more blueprints. So this this is just keeping in line with what they were saying about they were going to have you know the ability for you to gather blueprints uh, at a much faster rate. Um, as it takes a very long time. So that, that's what this is about. Um, and the next event that they've got up is running until the 12th. This is you've got to complete two of these a day. So each day there'll be two new events and you want to complete them uh, and then you can get the cheerleader by the playground um, at, uh, outfit um, uh, at the completion. Um, and if you don't have it, you get some coins. I don't have it, so it'll be nice to actually get it. So that's pretty nice, okay? So let's talk about some other things here. All right, so uh, complete this, the easy rookie up top. I've already completed it once. Now, when you complete it once, it will reset again. So they're going to give you a bunch of uh, chances to get some more of these combat data packs, which are excellent for um, the completing uh, any priority ship one Monarch if you're working on it. Um, uh, I'm, I'm doing room right now, so that will do it. But I just reset it um, this morning, actually. So I can claim all these because um, I've already got um, completed those. So, and now I'll be able to complete the daily challenges again and uh, complete those to finish it up. It only resets once, so that's all. After I do it again, it'll be locked. Um, but yeah, so, you know, it's nice to get some of those data packs. It'll allow you to uh, do some research much, much faster. Because the you know the the research you got to get a million experience points with a fleet of the 
that matches the ship, the priority ship that you're building. Uh, you got to get uh, a total of 3,000. The first one is 1 million. Um, uh, and then the second one is 2 million. So you got to get 3 million. I'm sorry, it was not 3,000, but 3 million experience points. So that can take a little while. <laughs> uh, yeah, so this is going to allow you to speed it up. It's only for, you know, it's only for the Series 1 ships. So, you, you know, you're not going to get into your, your uh, you know, your Series 2 or the Series recently released Series 3 ships. But, hey, it's it's nice that they're offering it. And it's nice that they're giving us a little bit of help on blueprints. Um, I'm going to have quite a bit of the Neptune blueprints. So I might just go ahead and uh, do Neptune after I finish with Rune. Uh, I'm doing Rune just because I want to start a German fleet. Um, because I want to go for some of the, the priority ships in the Series 2 and Series 3, which I really think are cool, FDG and a few others. So I, that's why I was going to do that, because uh, I think that's the best way to make a competitive German fleet. Uh, so, Iron Blood fleet. So, um, yeah, so that's good. Now, on another note, uh, I have finally, after all this time, Monarch is fully, fully, 100% complete. So as you can see, I've got her fully maxed out with, uh, with all gear. Uh, um, got the piercing shells here. Uh, he, um, uh, all maxed out at 10. Uh, I've got all of her skills maxed out at 10. Well, that can be maxed. Siren Killer is just a basic, basic skill. It stays at 1. I've got the research development uh, completed. Uh, dev level up to 30. Uh, the Fate Simulation is completed as well. And I've got the uh, buff to the Against the Current. It gives me a plus level, uh, which allows me to get an extra uh, extra reload. Plus, um, it gives me the biggest, weakest um, is all priority ships have zero luck. She now has 15. So that's that's one of the reasons you want to do that. But she's fully done, so I no longer need any blueprints. Um, and it's a lot of blueprints. Um, it's a lot of blueprints. I've been gathering blueprints consistently um, for at least, uh, at least five or six months. Um, it's like almost 600 blueprints that you got to get. And you don't get them. You don't get them fast. I mean, I got these last ones fast because they have they have the new event up where you can, um, you know, uh, uh, assign a catch up. You know, you, you can assign a um, a catch up. Um, so I've got mine set to rune right now. So when I do my events, I'll get a rune and I'll get a monar or a Neptune blueprint. Um, but this is only for 27 days. So I'll only get a blueprint for Neptune for 27 days. Then this event will end and. It won't, but I'll still get runes. So I'm already starting to gather rune blueprints um, since I'm finished with Monarch, and I don't need to do that. Um, I have decided not to focus on St. Louis at this point um, in time. Uh, she'll be French fleet uh, when I do decide in the future to work on that. But So I'm just going to focus on, on rune right now for my Ironblood fleet, um, and she would be an excellent addition to it. Um, so that's what I've got set up. But yeah, and so when this came out, it allowed it allows you to gather blueprints uh, much more fast, uh, at a much at a much faster pace as you need to. So I'm still pretty. I'm, I'm still you know I'm still ways from her. Let's go into the lab here. Go into the shipyard. Um, yeah, see, I'm about halfway through. Uh, so you got to get a million, and then the second uh, collection is two million. So I'm about halfway through the one million. Um, so that that the the data packs will help uh, that'll allow me to get a lot of this caught up so and then then i'll be able to focus on that and uh, everything else and i'll have a lot of blueprints um saved up for her um through this uh through you know through the various events and through the actual um setting her up as my uh, feature ship in the uh the section so make sure you have that set up um for whichever uh ship you're going to build make sure you make sure you definitely set that up because it's it's going to help out immensely um, in terms of uh, what you want to do. So just make sure to catch up as the ship you're building. And like I say, uh, as I said before, I would suggest Monarch. Uh, she is one of the most powerful ships in the game. Um, and she is a beast. Um, uh, so she's definitely a good priority, um, you know, uh, a good priority ship to build out of this season one so that you can take advantage of all these events that they're having. Because these these events, um, you know, are, are only being ran right now for priority um, season one ships, so you know, like right here is um, uh, this is Neptune. So all of these events that they're having right now are for these season one ships. So uh, now would be a good time, even if you're doing something in season two and season three, maybe put that on hold because you can change um, 
you know, just temporarily, you won't lose what you've already gathered on the other one. Um, but if you, you know, switch back to season one, pick a ship, Neptune, um, you know, Monarch, Neptune, St. Louis, Rune. I mean, they got some really good ships in here. Um, Abuki and um, Izumo, if you're looking for something, IG, uh, you know, IGN related. But, you know, so switch to one of these PR1 ships so that you can, so that you can, you know, enjoy this, this buff that they're giving us. Um, it sounds to me like it's going to continue. I don't think they plan to stop it. I think it's going to be um, a permanent thing. Um, you know, so, so, but if just to be on the safe side, I would start building a PR1 ship right now. Um, and just so you can, you know, take advantage of the speed with which you can gather these blueprints for some of these ships. Because yeah, really, it took me, it took me, it took a really long time um, to get all the, you know, all the blueprints. It just, you know, a lot of blueprints. Uh, and they just didn't really have the only way to really get them was through the research um, was doing the lab and doing research academy and getting them that way and then during the events uh, the shops would always have um, an event the event shop by the way is still up for the uh, Sakura event so this was really the only way to get them was uh, was through um, you know purchasing them through the events uh, and earning them through the research that was the only way to get them and now they've got some other ways to get them so that's pretty nice so yeah you want to focus on that as well so yeah so that's uh that's it so nocturne before nightfall first parts up got to run till the six so now would be a good time to take those ships and as always you will notice that they have a plus 20 percent highlighted on them to indicate that they have uh the bonus um buff uh on their uh utilization uh, for that, I'll go until the 6th. And like I say, Jamaica and uh, Grass B are the other ones. I don't have those two as of yet. So it's not my focus right now. So uh, I've just uh, did a little bit of 3-4 running today, trying to get my IGN fleet up now that I do have Pretty Little God over here. Um, so I'm just working on getting her up. Put a little minor kit on her so I can start doing a little bit of farming with her to get her experience up. Um, so that that's my, you know, because there is no event going up right now. That's associated with uh, you know that has a special event stage, um, and it, that should drop uh, on the six whenever they do the the update uh, phase two for the uh, nocturne by nightfall event. Okay, so uh, get in there, and knock things out. Now's a good time to do a little bit of three four if you're lacking a Kagi and Kaga, because I assume if you uh, towed it on the previous event, you should have. Uh, Nagato by now, and that's, that's that's the only way to get her. If you didn't get her, um, I'm sorry for you, but uh, it will pop up again next year, and you'll have a chance to get her then. Um, but if you did get her, then you need you want uh, you can do. There's two uh, there's two ways to go with her. There's two comparisons that you can run. You can run her with. I'm running her right now with. Um, since I don't have a Kagi, I'm not using Kaga. I am currently using, I run the Gato in my back, and I'm running her with Shukaku. And, uh, see, I'm running the Gato with, where's Shukaku at? Where's she at? I know she's in here somewhere. Yeah, I'm running her with Shukaku. And uh, if you run Shukaku, Shukaku has a, Shukaku, she has a special care, fifth carrier division. If you sort her with Zukaku, it increases the ship's aviation by 25.8, and it increases the damage it's taken by five. So it gives her a slight buff and a slight takeaway on her damage, um, but with a buff from you know Nagata that's limited. And then you can compare it with Zukaku because I do have both Zukaku and uh, Shukaku, so I'm going to run that until I can get my hands on um, until I get my hands on Akagi. You know, the, the Akagi, it's you know it's fleeting <laughs> you're not really sure when you're going to get her uh, at what time you're going to get her so it's really difficult to you know play forward as to when it's going to happen so I just decided that it would be best to just go ahead and focus on pairing up those two since they do make a team for the fifth carrier division uh, and just to pair them with uh, Nagato until I can get my hands on Akagi and then I can switch over and have Nagato, Akagi, and Kaga in my backfield. So that's what I'm doing. Um, and then I'm just running a mix of IGN, shape, uh, IGN ships on the uh, on the front line um, to uh, to make up a, a pretty good team. It's not a bad team, but you know 
it's going to take a little while. Um, so this is what I'm currently running. I've got Nagato, uh, and then I've got Jukaku and Shukaku, and I've got Ayanami. Uh, and I'm running, I decided to go ahead and run, um, uh, go ahead and run Kawakos, because I just wanted to see, you know, she's, she's a pretty good ship, and she's got a pretty interesting skill, as well as a buff, um, which makes her pretty interesting. So I decided to go ahead and run her. And then I've got uh, Yukikaz, which is just a beast. If you if you don't have Yukikaz, you should definitely get her. You can, the best way to get, you know get her and focus on her because I'm telling you, Yukikaz is just a beast. Um, this she won't die. Okay, impossible for her to die. Um, the the skill set that she has makes her extremely excellent for a tank. So uh, so that's what I'm running right now. So it's not a bad fleet. It's not super powerful as you can see. I'm still working on getting the skills leveled up, um, and and you know, and outfitting them with the equipment. Um, so it's you know, it's it, you know, it's a it's a it's a prog it's a work in progress. But I've got the main stay, which was Nagato. Um, it all goes with this, um, and, and she increases all these ships um, buff. She buffs them all immensely. So you, you know, that's what I have her. So I've got her, so I can start on working on that. And you know, if and, and I assume Akagi will drop sooner or later. I actually had Kaga drop again for me um, today when I was running it. Um, I've already got Kaga, so it really wasn't that. Uh, I wasn't like we. I was like, uh oh. So I've gotten Kaga twice, but I haven't managed to get Akagi. So I, I assume she'll drop sometime. I'm really hoping that maybe in the future, um, if anybody here is watching this video from from any of the you know development teams that maybe they'll have an event where her drop rate is a little bit increased significantly or something just for you know a, a few days just to prevent the actual uh you know because it's really boring actually running the bit over and over and over and over again um just to get the ship because it's only it's the normal mode so it's like super easy it's a good way to level up ships which is what i normally do i just normally stick a couple of ships in there that i'm leveling up and I just run them on three, four, and level them up while I'm doing it because uh, it's low oil cost and you know farm it as I'm going through. So it, it's a nice way to level up ships, but it's really it's a little bit boring because it's three, four, and the, the, it's normal mode, so it's really easy. You know, you got to run it like three times, three. You got to beat three fleets before the boss, um, before the boss. You know, the boss appears, which is where the the drop is. It's only on the boss portion. Um, that you can actually get uh, a cocky or cocky to draw. So, you know, it's only that. So there's not very many chances. Uh, you can't go straight to it. So it just takes a little bit of time. But, you know, it is what it is. So I'll keep farming it and hopefully we'll get it. And I will, of course, do a video when I do manage to snatch her up. But I uh, just want to let everybody know that uh, the Iron Steel Scar event is over. And uh, we are now on to Nocturne by Nightfall. And we'll see how that one goes. Okay. So everybody, thanks a lot for watching the video. Remember to put a like on it if you do like it. And remember to click on the subscribe button and click on the bell ding ding beside it if you want to be notified whenever I drop a video. This is Ken Rear still in the corner, signing out.